Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. And we are in chapter 2 now. We are looking at the next topic or next chapter that is test management responsibilities of the test analyst where we have four topics to undergo. Uh, just reminding you once again that 2.1 all the introduction from every chapter has been eliminated from the syllabus just point of consideration we are just telling you that we are covering everything so that you don't feel any topic is missed in the tutorial so we'll be just having 2.1 and uh, 2.2 together in this session where introduction is just a mere introduction and we move to the content but as for the syllabus 2.1 is now revised to be removed so you won't find 2.1 listed in the content so let's continue with the session and understand more about the same when you talk about the test management part or generally when you call it as test uh, monitoring and control which are the major activities of the test analyst uh, there's a lot of activities where generally the test analyst contributes or interact with the test managers to provide information by measuring and gathering those matrices but at any point of time uh, it's not so critical for the test analyst to play that role so it it does become important to understand what are the key areas, what are the main phases where generally the test analyst plays a vital role. So in from that context we are having this next uh, topic about the same that is 2.1 where we understand uh, the test progress monitoring and uh, control. So generally we have uh, certain primary dimensions which can be measured with help of matrices. Regarding matrices, we have already understood in chapter 1 that these are certain calculations or formulae which helps you to measure an entity uh, during the entire process. So we have classified all these matrices to be measuring five primary dimensions of test progress, which is classified as product risk or generally called as quality risk because product is mainly related to quality characteristics, defects, tests, coverage and confidence as well. So Generally, when it comes to the entire process, we have five primary dimensions which are, are measurable with help of uh, matrix and has certain progress involved in them. So based on these tests, we say that these are the five primary dimensions. So, and further, if you look into the something different than the processes like risk-based testing, so if you are applying risk-based testing and you are managing the risk as well because the risk analysis from the previous tutorial we have understood uh, we have risk identification, risk assessment, risk management and risk mitigation as well. So mitigating them would require how many test cases you have written, how many more test cases are required, how many test cases have passed, how many test cases were associated to a risk which of higher uh, priority or severity. So managing them is equally important for the test analyst and this could be uh, tracked in two ways that is risk risk uh, which risk have been mitigated by the testing and which risks are considered to be unmitigated similarly when it comes to uh, tracking the information of the test management in fact like you know, what test we are using what test data we have so generally we call the management of the resource of the test so resource management of testing is called as test management so it can be done with help of tools which could be easily to track or monitor the information and measure the progress at any time similarly defect tracking we know about defect management so all the information about the defect will be captured with help of defect management tools also uh, when it comes to the execution points of course execution would require additional informations to be added to the part of the uh, management process so like information which could be included as a part of uh, execution are like test case creation status it could be designed reviewed executed test case execution status might like fa fail pass block skip what happened to the execution uh, test case execution information like the date and time tester name data used and test case execution artifacts like the outcomes or maybe the logs which are being prepared screenshots any such thing so there are a lot of detailed thing to be understood by a test analyst to make sure that the major contribution at certain point of time would be completely a test analyst responsibility and to make sure that what kind of information must be tracked what kind of information must be traced and followed for monitoring point of view so a test analyst must understand everything 
And not only this, when it comes to the other parameter that is confidence, so how do you measure confidence, is this is what it is. When you say in many cases, it's just an example, but I'll read out for you. In many cases, more test cases are needed to thoroughly test a requirement. Of course, we know from the principle of exhaustive testing. But because of limited time, only a subset of those tests is actually created, right, by the principle. Accurate traffic, uh, tracking of the coverage as well as tracking the reviewed status of requirements themselves can be used as confidence. So it generally means that the fifth uh, dimension which is confidence is all about making sure that when a tester itself tries to monitor something which has been done earlier and what is that we are doing, is that enough, should we write more test cases, that is what you basically call as confidence measures which can be done with help of like documentation stating that yeah it was just like and so on. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. I hope you would have learned something new today when it comes to uh, any kind of queries or questions. So if in case you have, please feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you. Other than that, of course, we'll be coming back with another tutorial on the series. So stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep understanding, and keep exploring. Take care, team. Happy learning.